Hi, man. Uh, Mauricio Rosa here. Uh, when, when my son was uh, in kindergarten, he was asked to bring his favorite item for a show and tell at his school. He didn't hesitate and chose his uh, Lego uh, creation and his homemade stuffy. At that moment, uh, I, I tried to, to put myself in, in his shoes at his age, not, not my age. And I have to confess that a wave of insecurities uh, fell on me. What, what people will think, will, will they like it? Will, will they think it is cool? I'm pretty sure my, my son wasn't thinking about those things, but think about it. They are asked to bring something from home in a way they have to reveal something of their innermost self, what they love, what they enjoy, what really matters uh, to them. Show and tell requires a lot of vulnerability. And this does not end when we grow up. The difference is that we call it now status update. And, and, and we present an image of ourselves for others to see with good news and clever comments and, and beautiful, uh, well-composed photos uh, because we need to be known. The truth is, uh, our real motives in desiring to, to be known are at best mixed. Our pride and insecurity determine so much what we do and don't share. At the same time, being known is a legitimate desire, one that exists because God gave it to us. And it is a desire He shares, although it is not born of any need of His own, but to satisfy our need to know Him. God shows and God tells us. He is continually revealing something to all of His creation. God from eternity to eternity, a self-sufficient God living in perfect relationship, in harmony, no need of anything. God the Father with God the Son and God the Holy Spirit decided to reveal Himself, expressing all His glory and all His greatness and the way chosen was first through the creation of everything even creating man in His image. Then through people, circumstances, His words and oracles for generations. Then one day, the greatest way and, and most exact expression of who He is has been revealed. He has shown in Jesus Christ. That is the ultimate show and tell. In Christ, God did not hesitate to show Himself to His creation. God made Himself vulnerable. Philippians chapter 2 says that Jesus, though He was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but made Himself nothing taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of man. Talk about being vulnerable. God, God never suffered from our insecurities and fear. He, he already knew that Jesus was going to be rejected by the religious authorities and by people. But to those who received him, he gave them the rights to be called sons of God. Jesus became a man and showed us who God is. And even though he was killed for doing it, he still did it anyway. He came for the show and tell, and, he can, and, and we can look at him and undeniably say that we can know who God is. That's what he tell, told us. And do you know what this tells you and me? He tells us that we can trust Him. He did not hide or hold back anything. Everything we need to know, to know and have a relationship with God, He has made it clear to us. So the question for us today is this. Can you trust Him with your life? 
So this week, join us as we'll unpack more what it means, a God who shows us. Go to our website, impactus.org, and sign up to receive our devotional. And do more than that. Share this content with your friends. God bless you.